everybody, it's Colby Hodnett with Accuracy First. So today we're gonna to be talking just real fast over a couple new things in the update for the Kestrel that just came out recently. Uh, primary one being, make sure as soon as you get the uh, update, you actually come in and reselect those bullets in the app and send all those gun profiles back into the Kestrel. This is mainly because now the Kestrel is actually sending over, or the app is sending over all the bullet data into the Kestrel. And so you'll be able to see the, the bullet name. And if you swap over to G1, G7, it'll be sending over the, the BCs as well. Um, so now you've got more information with it, but you have to actually reselect the bullets and then send it to the Kestrel for this to work. All right, the other thing with this new update is with the 12 inch drill, the value that it'll populate, uh, it will say in a if there's a single hold that can exceed an error of 0.3 um, if you know how to use the tool then you're familiar with what i'm talking about if you don't then i'd recommend watching some other videos that are possibly online or coming to one of the classes but either way the the na that is populating now if you're seeing it and weren't in the past is because at one location you may have an error that's larger than 0.3 if you know how to use the tool you can still click view table you can still run the tool just like normal if if you're familiar with it if you're okay accepting maybe larger than 0.3 either way the kestrel will not give you a hold that can exceed that large of an error cool y'all have a good day